Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. This is Esfar, your host, and today we're going to go over some replays. Uh, currently, I haven't really done any pr uh, trophy pushing, so I'm still at 6,435. Um, it's kind of nice that you don't have to worry about pushing trophies right now, because they're not going to reset. As you can see, I'm currently in Royal Champion. I've gotten two steps. I uh, just need one, two, three, four, five. Eight, eight more wins to get to Ultimate Champion, which that's going to be my goal for this season. Um, I'm not going to have a lot of time to push this weekend, so I need to get to Ultimate Champion either by um, today or tomorrow. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go ahead and review some replays. Um, the first one was against um, this person, Gule, who's got in the 2022-20 win challenge. Uh, overall, pretty good player. Legacy bus is 7,000. And let's um, take a, a look at this game. Hopefully, uh, the replays aren't bugged like that they used to be. I know that in my last video, the replay was really bugged. It showed that I lost when I won. And then it was showing everything as level 11. Which, the level 11 still seems to be <laughs> the issue. So, this, I made a very bad play. I did P.E.K.K.A. first play, and he was just able to mini P.E.K.K.A. and, and E.W.I.Z. and pretty much take out my tower. Um, but good thing is, he doesn't have a lot of elixir, and I have a dual lane push, because I'm going to put the bandit in front of the electric wizard and the ghost. And my P.E.K.K.A. is going to be able to take down his tower with ease. Um, but now he has a dual lane push with his Mega Knight and Phoenix. Phoenix is just going to clean up the P.E.K.K.A. because it's overpowered. Um, and this is level 14 since we are in Royal, uh, Royal Champion. He completely misses his Fireball, but he's still... I should have zapped his Mega Knight, honestly. The zap would have stopped it from taking the tower. Um, but I'm able to take down his Phoenix just fine. <clears throat> and now he's just... I'm, let's see what he's going to do with this Magic Archer. If he's going to defend it, if he's just going to take the damage... Uh, Magic Archer is not going to do too much damage, so you might as well just take the damage. Um, I'm going to go and zap to get it out of my rotation because I did not know he had Sparky. And so, uh, looking back, I sh probably shouldn't have zapped. But he's going to play his mini Pukka to tank for the Bandit Dash. And now he has a counter push. I'm going to have to be forced to play Ghost so that I can stop his mini Pukka. If not, a mini Pukka will do a lot of damage to my tower. So with him playing his Sparky, I have to play Batteram because I was like, he most likely has Mirror and I don't want uh, two Sparkies coming down opposite lanes or the same lane. That would be very troublesome to stop. So I play Magic Archer in the back. I'm going to play the Pekka in the middle to tank for one shot and to kill the um, Mega Knight. I do play the E -whiz, and unfortunately I don't stop the Sparky and he's gonna have two Phoenixes level 15 level 14 but luckily I was able to get a good poison value and I was able to stop the push um, he's just gonna play Mega Knight to stop the bandit which is a native elixir for him but he does have a dual lane push I'm just gonna go ahead and play the P.E.K.K.A. He doesn't have Sparky behind it, so that's really good for me. I don't know if I should have played the P.E.K.K.A. so high, because he's going to be able to just destroy my P.E.K.K.A. with the Sparky and with the um, Phoenixes. I thought I zapped correctly, but I missed the zap as well. And so his Sparky's not going to die. His Sparky's going to take out my units. And now he has two Phoenixes. Luckily, I was able to get a good poison and be able to... I stop both of them, but now uh, I make some really big mis mistakes. I'm, that was a huge misplay playing the Ghost and Zap. Um, I don't, don't know why I did that, uh, but I go ahead and play the Pekka. He's gonna clean up the mini Pekka, but unfortunately, he's just gonna die. Um, and my tower is super low right now, and so um, we're gonna see what happens. And I go ahead and I play the Bandit. I didn't realize how low my tower was. I didn't realize I was at 553. He probably could have just fireballed me. Um, Mir. I don't know why he didn't do that. Huh. Very interesting. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to play the P.E.K.K.A. 
just because I have to. And I'm going to play the Magic Archer high. And, oh, I did not realize the Sparky got a shot off. So I I barely three crown him. Unless it's a replay and, I, and my Keen Tower had more HP than 553. Um, but yeah, I go ahead and I take that victory. The next one was against this player. Um, who wasn't that good. His season best is 6,615 in the old system. But he just, uh, this replay, he just gambles. He's playing the Elixir Golem. And so we just do a tower base race. And I was ahead. My units were closer to taking his tower out. So that's pretty much how I win this game. But I'll let you guys see how it plays out. I thought he was playing Golem. So he plays his Night Witch. I 100% thought it was Golem. That's why I play the P.E.K.K.A. The reason why I play the P.E.K.K.A. I wanted him to force out his Golem. Um, or um, base race against the Golem without the Night Witch being able to back it up. So once I saw the Batter Heal, I don't know why he played it in the back. He probably should have played it at the bridge with his Elix Golem. Because right now, I'm going to win the base race. He's not going to be able to take my tower down fast enough. My P.E.K.K.A. is just going to destroy it. My P.E.K.K.A. is not even tanking. And so, um, he, this game is pretty much over. He's going to go ahead. He should, probably should have defended with his Elite Barbarians. Because if he was able to stop my push, um, his push would have been able to 3-crown me just fine. But he doesn't, he doesn't do that. He just tries to play his Elite Barbarians. And he gets completely punished for it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the last replay. This guy is playing Giant Graveyard. Legacy bus 6,627. And so, as you can see, everyone that is usually in Masters 3 and the old rank system is now in Royal Champion. So it's really easy to get to Royal Champion right now. Uh, really easy to get to Champion. Really easy to get to Grand Champion. I mean, I went from Grand Champion to Warrior Champion in less than literally like seven games. Um, so he's just going to do the skill for Graver, giant mini P.E.K.K.A. push, which automatically takes down the tower. But now he has a P.E.K.K.A. that he has to take care of. So right now he's super ahead. Uh, I should have lost this game. Uh, there's no way I should have won the game. But, you know, this just shows you that he's not really a, that good of a player. To where I could take advantage of all the mistakes he was doing and take home the victory. And so, uh, I'm not sure why my Magic Archer stopped attacking the Giant and went down to the um, Musketeer, but it did. So, I'm going to go ahead and play the Ghost, and he's going to take out the Musketeer. His bats, unfortunately, are going to clean up the P.E.K.K.A. I don't think... Uh, this. Actually, the Electric Wizard was, was a good play because he goes ahead and plays a mini P.E.K.K.A. to defend his right side tower. And now he has no mana and my P.E.K.K.A. is just going to take out his tower. And he's wasted his Skarmory. He, he shouldn't have Skarmory. Uh, he should have saved, stay, saved his Skarmory um, for a different place. Probably to stop that bandit dash, honestly. But right now, I'm in a huge lead. I was really aggressive playing that Magic Archer because he could have easily just giant grey run me right now. But unfortunately, he didn't see that I'm low on Elixir because he's not counting Elixir. So he's just going to slow play a Musketeer. And that's going to give me plenty of time to get my P.E.K.K.A. to predict his giant. And I'm going to be able to get my poison down to stop his grey run. Uh, Graveyard's the best counter to uh, Graveyard and makes it so that skeletons can't really hit, which I think is balanced. That's why I've been using uh, Poison way more than Fireball. I don't think Fireball is good in, is, is even remotely good in this meta. Uh, just use Poison. And Poison's pretty easy to use as well, and it's extremely fun, and it could give you a huge advantage. And so, he's not going to be able to stop this push, so I go ahead and play the Battle Ram on the left hand side. Uh, because I know he's going to have to waste so much elixir. And all my units are just going to get on his king tower. And uh, I'm not going to be able to DPS it down. But I'm just going to keep on playing aggressive. And uh, play the magic archer. And play the and play the uh, bandit. Bandit gets a dash. My magic archer gets 2-3 to three hits. And now I ha we, we have the same amount of mana. His king tower is almost dead. So even if he does take my tower. I'm going to be able to easily 3 crown him. But I'm going to go ahead with the perfect defense. Play the P.E.K.K.A. Poison, and he is done. There's nothing he could do. Can't even take down the tower. Um, 
and uh, yeah, and that's going to be game. So there's about three days left in this season. And so I hope you guys are having a fun time. I hope you guys keep on pushing. And that this is an easy rank season to get your personal best, to get that grand champion so that it's on your profile. I am definitely going to go for ultimate champion. Hopefully I can make it and either the next day next two days just because i'm not going to have a lot of time over the weekend but if i do have any time over the weekend i will push for it like i said i'm about eight to nine games off of getting ultimate champion so wish me best luck but this is what i, I want to talk to you guys about right now you go to the ultimate champion profile and it's not even 10k so I think that's kind of ridiculous that reaching the highest league is not even top 10k. They definitely got to make it a lot harder and they have to put more respect on these arenas. Um, and the old arena, people who were champion grant, people who were champion were top 10k. That's how hard the old rank system was compared to the new rank system. And they need to adjust the new rank system so it reflects the old rank system. Hopefully they do that. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day and keep on clashing.